Hello and welcome to na 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 James the Lesser Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible. Had a me day. Watched a ton of stuff on HBO Max, including Batman: The Long Halloween Part One and Two. It's 1940s, but also 2000s. Also, I have no idea. Cars, the styles are definitely like 1940s, but then Harvey Dent has a smartphone. It's weird. But that's what Batman does a lot. Even the animated series, and that takes place in like the 80s, and yet they still have like blimps in the sky and oldie cars. It's, it's what Batman does. But... You have the Falcone family. Pretty bad gangsters. Someone kills the nephew of the head of the Falcone family. The nephew was about to talk. This pisses Harvey Dent off because clearly Falcone had him killed. Except... A little while later, on a different holiday, someone else gets killed in the exact same manner. Another holiday, another death. They start calling the killer Holiday. Now, obviously, Batman's first thought is Calendar Man. Often, you don't hear about guys like this. But for once, we do. He's in Arkham, still. It's like, well, if it's not him, Calendar Man, what can you tell us about this Holiday Killer? Well, there's some suspects, aren't there? Falcone family cleaning up the trash. Maybe more we're planning on talking, we don't know. Or it could be the rival. My boss guy that's trying to take over. Or, there's a third possibility. People who cross Harvey Dent end up dead. And that's why you met me here without him, isn't it, Batman? Shit happens. Explosions. Couple times where you think, oh, Harvey Dent's about to be turned into Two Face, and then he doesn't. Catwoman, as you can see over there, she knows who Batman is. They're very, very close. As both Batman and Catwoman, and Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle. So, as Batman investigates, with help from Catwoman and Commissioner Gordon, who's only captain at the time, and uh, Barb is still a child, like five, six years old. So again, like, I don't know when it takes place because you have the old-timey cars. Uh, Commissioner Gordon has like a phone attached to the wall, the rotary dial. Then Harvey Dent has a smartphone. I don't get it. What the movie, well, two movies actually, do though very well is make you think you know. What do you know? You know nothing, apparently, because they keep twisting here and twisting there. And just when you think, oh no, we finally caught the Holiday Killer, they don't. Now, yes, Harvey Denton's in it, so we're going to see an appearance from Two-Face. And you see an appearance, as you can see over there, Joker. But they use guys like Solomon Grundy really well. Like, that was a great use of Solomon Grundy. I have to admit, like, didn't expect him to be used like they do in this movie. I also see Poison Ivy. So there's a time jump as well, which between part one and part two, which I really a time jump. How are you gonna just skip over that much time? And be like, oh, by the way, uh, off stream or off screen, this happened. Like, great. How about you just you know not do that? Kind of made me sour on part two a little bit, but in the end. Falcone has to be the target, right? Right. But why is he the target? Especially since Holiday Killer is... Not gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm just glad I finally got around to watching these because I've been wanting to watch them for a while. And they're on HBO Max. And having a me day, I watched a ton of stuff on HBO Max. Young Justice, uh, Ride Your Wave, this. Uh, unfortunately, I watched... Uh, Wrong's gone wrong. God's hair, terrible. Don't watch that one. Watch this part one and two instead. 
as far as Batman movie goes and the animated series goes, I don't know why they don't do this with the live action. They could do all the stuff they do in animated, then do it in live action, put it in theaters, make billions. And yet, they never do. They'll take chances with the animated stuff, but I don't know if we can do that. All right, well, we'll just put in an animated movie. Hey, it did great. Should we do it in the live action? No. That's stupid. But yeah, do not watch live animated, the live action stuff. It's trash. Watch the animated stuff instead. It's great. And with that, I'm going to let you go. Thank you, as always. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.